Let me refresh this page. I should be getting a welcome. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're, our slides are busted again. For whatever reason, I have to have 19. I said, oh, what amazing technology we have. But for whatever reason, I just got to cook the page weirdly. Yeah, I got to, for some reason, put dumpling19721 at the top of the spreadsheet for it to work. I don't know why. I know that there is another team that's called dumpling19721. Hey, keep it up. I'm just going to have that as the first slide because ASCII emojis are weird. They're weird. Don't question it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Prof N Counter says, I'm not an audio person, but I don't know if our composer is here. So, Cody, you're in short supply. Hell yeah. Fluffy says, what's that about audio? Uh, I wasn't listening. Fluffy does audio for us. Um, Arthur says, we appreciate your audio. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Welcome, dumpling emoji. Again, whatever the code, start code for the dumpling emoji is, it's just, it makes the slides work. I'll debug it later. It wouldn't be a game jam if those things weren't working. Uh, we will now commence watching all of the excellent uh, games that you guys made together. I think we have way too many. Uh, we have 30 plus, and that's not including all the way late uh, entries who are still in progress. Um, and uh, each of those will be at most three minutes. We've asked people to put together a little video for us, uh, and that way we don't have to worry about platforming compatibility or whatever. Uh, we're going to uh, just uh, you know watch through all these videos together. Uh, the first game, I think, is our very, very cool special Galloway collaboration, The Balance of Sappho. Um, the emojis that they chose for this is adorable. It is a mouse and a sword. If you want to show your love in Discord, use the mouse emoji for Balance of Sappho. Oh, there's no audio on this video. No! Oh, I know why. There we go. Fluffy, don't worry, I got you. That was, um, what was that? Uh, Balance of Sappho. Balance of Sappho. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe this is a game jam game. The music was exquisite. The graphics for uh, all the different animations. The characters are so cute. Um, I bet that probably hit the uh, the the cute dis uh, diversifier they had this year. Um, the I really, really, really enjoyed the level design. Someone had called out Mouse of Persia in chat. That's legit. Um, if you guys want to vote for, um, if you want to cat, share your love, let me keep, let me help me out here. Share your love for, uh, Balance of Sappho. Go to Discord and use the mouse emoji. Moving right along. Reclamation. Reclamation is up next using the, uh, recycle emoji. <laughs>
was reclamation reclamation with the recycle emoji if you want to show your love please go to ggo share your love and use the recycle emoji um they pitched a city builder in the game pitching ideas section of our game kickoff and i was like what what i a whole city builder are you sure oh, okay you you do you uh, i saw they did have a producer for that hey get your guys a producer that makes all the difference that was reclamation next up is meta pizza delivery meta pizza delivery with the pizza emoji let's go That was uh, Meta Pizza, Meta Pizza Delivery. If you want to support Meta Pizza Delivery, hey, show them some love uh, with the pizza emo. I, uh, I'm eating pizza for dinner. I'm having Hot Mama's Pizza from Cap Hill. It's real good. Other pizzas are available. We're not sponsored, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ashley's dropping some pizzas in, in chat. Much appreciated. Our next game is... Stupid racing, stupid racing. This is made by our very own Edward Liu, who last year graced us with a deep and thoughtful, uh, meticulous uh, dissection of the uh, human id while you know uh, de uh, experiencing depression and uh, crawling your way through development hell. I'm very excited to see what insightful work he shared with us this year. You think you can beat me, you upstart racer? You nerd? You dimwit? Just try. Uh, 
absolutely extraordinary. I was moved. I cried. I didn't realize Brad was in on that too, you absolute um, uh, meme lord. Um, I'm, that was uh, Stupid Racing. If you guys want to support Stupid Racing, hey, use the, uh, the racing emote in the Share Your Love uh, channel. Stupid Racing. I've been told stupid's a bad word, and I'm not allowed to say it in front of my nieces and nephews. Stupid. Let's see. Next up is Wareship. Wareship. I.e. the legend tales of the fearsome wareship. Half ship, half man. All monster. Uh, this was one of our pitches, and I was so excited to see more. Please enjoy wareship. Sailing far together, gents, Kirk up a thrifty. Not a wolf, but a ship that hunts for treasure across the sea. It was a fateful day on a haunted ship. Splinter did you get? Now to a ship you must transform to sailor strength to it. Booty lies across the seas, waiting your gifts so rare. Other sailors try their luck, but no where ship can compare. So you voyage far and wide, searching for a pirate's gold. Will you break the ship town curse, or forever break its hold? Enough to be a pirate. On our merry crew, we be both ship and b b man. <laughs> Quite. Now that was where ship. Absolutely hilarious. I love the shanty. They also got to use a lot of those uh, longest John ship tunes, which was adorable. Um, you guys want to show your love to the where ship devs? Uh, hey, you drop them a uh, drop them the little pirate ship emote, the little the pirate flag. Uh, the the Jolly Roger, if it be. They're throwing tomatoes at me. What's this? Where's the tomatoes? Napkin Brown's throwing a tomato. Why would you do this? Why? It's great. <laughs> ah, they're saying, uh, lol, 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 we love the game. Excellent. Very good. Next up is Bert, the struggle within. Bert, the struggle within. Um, I actually don't know if this video is done processing or not. This is one of the ones that were like, the video was linked to, but uh, I didn't get to watch it. I don't know what's in it. I, uh, I'm excited to see it. Here we go. Oh, good, good. It's working. Thank you. 
Uh, this is one of the videos I didn't check uh, because it was still processing. I just realized it's nine minutes long. It's a full gameplay. If you guys want to check out the video, do check it out. I'm going to actually skip ahead a bit because we only have one minute left in our time. Just see what the rest of the game got for us. That was uh, Bert, The Struggle Within, which was such an awesome game. Again, I had no idea what that was going to be. Um, I understand now, though, why it took so long for the video to process, because the video was pretty long. I'm sorry we had to skip through it. I feel very bad. I'm sure there's a lot of other scenarios in there. At the very end, they kind of showed a supermarket sweep and a hot day and the Sleeping Beauty. Um, I can only aspire to sleep as well as he did at the very end there. Um, I was very, very excited to see this like competitive angel versus devil internal struggle. That was awesome. If you guys want to show your love to the devs, use the brain emoji. The brain emoji in our Discord to share your love with them. Show that you thought the game was cool, because it was. Uh, yeah. Next up, Mask Mandate. Here we go. From the respective homes of Meme Hacker and Melissa, we present Mask Mandate. With a theme of duality and the diversifier is sustainable, don't go alone, take this, and stick together. Exploring the duality between masked and unmasked in this satirical game, you and a friend are responsible for reaching your destination with a mean red virus running rampant. Unfortunately, you only have one mask between you, and I hope you're close. Both of you must reach the destination without getting caught by the virus without a mask. You only have limited places where you can swap the mask safely, so watch out. Navigate through totally normal oh, situations like getting oh. groceries at your oh. local supermarket, getting through dinner at the family gathering you were guilt tripped into going to, <laughs> and oh. being at the wrong place at the wrong oh. time. Uh. Maybe just avoid what Ryan's altogether. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of yourself and those around you. Hang in there, friends. Uh, yeah, that was mask Friend. mandate, mask mandate. Um, uh, yes, do, uh, wear a mask. Do you consider wearing your own masks? Uh, and, uh, if you have disposable masks, you gotta throw them away after three uses. <laughs> Just heads up. That was mask mandate. Next up, duality. Uh, actually, if you want to support mask mandate, do use the mask emoji on Discord. From the uh, next up, the duality of cats. Yes. Uh, this is another video I don't think I've watched. It was also processing for a long time. Um, but I love cats and I'm very, very excited to see what's next.
That was Duality of Cat. Yes, Duality of Cat. A mysterious duality indeed. If you got to show your support for the Duality of Cat, use the, the little kitty, forward-facing kitty emote. I know we have another emote later on in the stream, which is just the cat from the profile. This is a heads-on profile pic of the cat. Next up, Pyrobot. Pyrobot. You are Roy. Fulfill your role as a firefighter and avoid death itself. Out now on itch.io. Hell yeah. It's out now on itch.io. That's awesome. I think someone might post a link to that in chat. Uh, yes, yes, Yalanis has posted that. Very, very, very good. Um, that was pure bot. If you want to pirouette as a robot, hey, uh, use the robot emoji on Discord to share your love. Uh, I'm going to do a, a secret ninja thing here. I'm going to upload, refresh the page. Uh, I've pulled in all of the new edits to the spreadsheet with that. Um, I see a couple more people have added. Ad okay, I'll have to refresh again after the next, the next as well. Uh, here we go. Next up is Renaissance Rumble. Oh. -ho. We have the fencer emoji. I'm very, let's see what this is about. That was Renaissance Rumble. Renaissance Rumble with the uh, uh, fencer emoji. You guys can use it on the Soundies Discord. Someone was asking where that was. It's not on Twitch chat. Sorry, most of our community is all on the Discord. Uh, if you want to share your support, join our Discord. It's a very happening place. Lots of cool people. They meet up and have voice calls uh, uh, every Saturday. And right now there's a whole bunch in the voice chat just hanging out. Um, the links have been dropped in the chat to uh, join the Discord. Next up, uh, Kit and Witch. Kit and Witch with the witch emoji. That was Kit and Witch. Kit and Witch, adorable premise. Uh, hey, you don't gotta motivate me any more than just being like, get go get to the cat. I'm like, yeah, great, I understand. Uh, lots of fun, uh, like mirrored puzzles there. And look, they had a lot of twists on the same uh, puzzle mechanic, which is very cool. Very hard to do for a game jam, usually. Hell yeah. That was Kit and Witch. If you guys wanna support Kit and Witch, hey, go to the Discord, share your love, let them know that you see them and let them feel validated for all their hard work this weekend by uh, using the witch emoji. Next up is Paracross. Is this also the dumpling emoji? Does everyone just have the dumpling emoji now? Or is this the 13792 from before? I don't know. I'm gonna very sneakily refresh the page regardless just to make sure we get the other new entries. 
Um, hey, if you want to add your game late, please message me from here on, because otherwise I will not know to upfresh the refresh the uh, page. Paracross with the dumpling emoji. Here we go. Hell yes, that was Paracross. Paracross, thank you so much for uh, using the dumpling emoji, which somehow fixed my slides. I don't know how, but I appreciate it. Guys, use the dumpling emoji in chat to share your love with um, Paracross. Uh, I'm going to fix the audio again, raise those levels, uh, refresh, bump, bump. Here we go. Switchback. Switchback is next. Everyone, if you want to share your love with Switchback, use the uh, key and lock, lock and key.
Hell yeah, hell yeah, that was Switchback. Um, I could tell right away that was an Alice game. Alice was awesome, I loved the visual design, the striking uh, shader work and the level work, the level design, the puzzle, uh, mind bending puzzles. Um, Alice and friends put that together. If you guys wanna support them, uh, share your love. Hey, uh, use the lock and key emoji for Switchback. That was awesome. Next up is Dual Spirit. Dual Spirit, you didn't give me an emoji. Uh, you gave me some ASCII, so I switched you over to the question mark emoji. Please forgive me. If you guys want to give your love for the Dual Spirit, use the red, uh, the red emoji. The red question mark. Yeah, that was Dual Spirit. Dual Spirit. You guys can share your love with Dual Spirit using the red question mark emoji. Getting more people sending me videos. Hell yes. Very cool. I'm just going to go ahead and do a refresh. Again, if I refresh the page, it hot reloads everything again. Just as long as you guys don't change the order in the spreadsheet, I should be okay. Very good. Oh, ooh, next we have Garden of Reverie. Garden Reverie? Is that how I pronounce it? If you guys want to support Garden Reverie, use the, uh, the, the puzzle piece, the green puzzle piece. Um, this is a Camden game. Woo-hoo-hoo! Howdy. So um, this is my submission, Garden of... I don't... I was never told I had to say it. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, this is our jam submission. It is a desynchronous multiplayer game where there is no networking involved, but it is still like a multiplayer puzzle where... Both players have to communicate ideas back and forth in order to both progress to the exit. Um, shout out to the team. Shout out to Sarah, Ray, Jasmine, Scott, me, uh, Travis, also known as Soren, Soriani, and my man here who's playing with me, Adam, uh, also known as Lucario. We're going to go through the first room here, and then, yeah, leave the rest to you guys. So, I am now in the room. Uh, yes, I am. I got some rocks with symbols on them. And I got yep. some rocks with symbols on them and buttons. I got some rocks too, and then I have some other rocks that have also have buttons. Um, do you have like a blue symbol on your rock? With um, the buttons? One of them is like a teal. Okay. Um, what's the symbol on it? Like, I can change the symbol it's on this like one? Uh, it has a symbol. It's uh, like a Y2 or K2. Okay. I got that one. Uh, Alright. Yeah, there's, like yeah, there's also like a violet purple, which is like a box with uh, sound waves going on top of it. Sick. And then the pink? The pink one is like an S with a dot at the top half of it. Sick. I, I am through. So uh, yours, uh, blue one, is like a, it's the same KS. KS. Alright. Uh, the yellow one is like a boot with some C's coming out of it. A boot with some C's, okay. And then your purple is Wi-Fi toast. Alright, got that one, and oh. I'm through. Cool, so we're both through, and that's room one. Enjoy the rest of the game. It's a secret. Shh. It's a secret, you heard it here first. It's Garden of Reverie. Reverie? Reverie? Uh, Reverie. There you go, I got it right. Figure it out. If you guys want to show your love for Garden of Reverie, um, Reverie, get, use the puzzle, the puzzle piece, the green puzzle piece on our Discord. Uh, up next, oh, what's this? Who put this here? Is this the game I worked on? It is indeed. Uh, I did very little. I was busy running the jam for a lot of it, but I was the producer for this project. Huge team. We had like 11 people total. We had like four or five programmers who all did amazing work. Um, we had a whole bunch. Uh, we had two audio folks doing great uh, stuff. We had one poor overtasked artist. Sorry, Noemi. Um, 
uh, and it was a really, really cool team effort. Uh, here we go. Boop. Play games, do crimes, save art. Restoration Raid is a stealth multiplayer game about robbing a museum of all its ill-gotten exhibits. You and a friend will compete to sneak through shadowy halls of the museum, collecting and stashing the most stolen artifacts in less than three minutes. That was a restoration raid. For everyone in chat who is popping off on the names like Carmen Sanchez and the like, we had two amazing narrative designers. And it's so hard usually to be a narrative designer in a game jam, uh, but they totally kept pace and were constantly putting out amazing writing. The do crimes bit was fully theirs. Um, it was super, super fun. Uh, do check out the game. Uh, it's multiplayer. And if there's a time for multiplayer games, it's now. Hey, thanks for uh, letting me talk about my own game. If you want to support me and the other devs who worked on it, show your love with the flashlight emoji. Much appreciated. Next up is Headlight. Headlight, you also didn't give me an emoji, so I gave you two Intero Banks because Intero Banks are a funny name. If you guys want to support Headlight, use the double red Intero Banks in Discord. Hello, and welcome to Headlight, where the object of the game is to avoid the shadows and reach the green light. We're going to move with W, A, S, and D. And... We're going to rotate our disembodied head with Q and E. That disembodied head has a spotlight on it, and that spotlight is our best hope for staying out of the shadows where we die. We don't have to start the level over, but we do get kicked back to where we were. And uh, the object of the game really is to reach your disembodied head, but for a 48-hour prototype, your disembodied head is hovering above that green dot. So now it gets tricky. Where's the head point? Oh, here it is. Good, good, good. I have my friend ahead. We have to work our way very, very carefully around the outskirts of the obstacles, lest that happen. Whew. I darn near died there. Our art department did an extraordinary job on this game. Um, I wish we had even more to show you, just because the shader looks so cool on certain things. But that's pretty much the game. Thanks for watching Headlight. That was Headlight. You guys can show your love for Headlight with the uh, double exclamation marks. Absolutely stellar work. Very excited to see more from those devs. Next up is Cordal. Cordal being the first game that was pitched for us. Um, if you guys are familiar with Wordle, you'll figure it out. Okay. My game jam submission is a musical version. It's a little quiet. The ever popular Wordle. It's called Cordal. Instead of guessing a word, you guess a melody, which is like a musical word. There's a little help page. Gives a basic explanation. And then you can just pick notes. There's a C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And let's see, oops, that was C4. What C5? There we go. There's a scale. So let's see how many of those were right. Plays that little thump sound when you get them wrong. And then otherwise it shows you which notes are in the right place, which notes aren't. So let's see. Let's try. Let's switch those around. Gotta keep that G because that's right. Oh no, C5 was in there. B4 was in Let's try that. And let's try one more. Almost. I wonder what this is. And we got it. 
That's it. That was Cordal. Cordal, I hope you guys were able to make that out because it was a little quiet in the recording. But hey, they're classic songs you know and love, Cordal. I, I think that's a very clever idea. Uh, so happy to see that uh, go from pitch to uh, actualization. Next up, High Low. High and Low, the ultimate duality. If you guys want to support High and Low, use the uh, egg chick emoji on Discord. I've created a game called High Low. I created it in Jupyter Notebook using Python. I just started learning Python about a week or two ago, so I wanted to give it a try. And it's a number guessing game. So um, let's run it. So what you do is it generates a random number and you get to choose the maximum of that number. So you're going to guess between zero and the maximum. And your goal is to get to the correct number in the smallest ratio of your guesses to possible guesses. And every time you guess a number, it, it will tell you if your number was too high or too low. So my first maximum number, I'm just going to pick 20. So I need to guess a number between 0 and 20. I'll guess 10. 10 is too low. I'll guess 18. 18 is too high. Let's do 15. Too low, 17. Too high. OK, obviously, it's going to be 16. And then it draws a path. So this is the path I took to get to the correct number. And I found it in five attempts, and my ratio was 0.25. So I guessed a quarter of the numbers between 0 and 25. So let's try a new maximum. Maybe if I go higher, I'll do better. All right, between 0 and 30, I guess 15 is too low. Let's go with 25, too high. 20, too low, 22, still too low. All right. Yeah, I did better. This time my ratio was 0.2, even though I had more attempts. Let's try with a really small number. Four, two is too high. One is too high, zero. All right, I won. Here is my path to get to the correct number. It was just a small number. But my ratio is really bad at 0.75. And so now at the, at the end, it gives you a graph of your scores. My best score was 0.2. My worst was 0.75. And my average is 0.4. And this is the path that my scores took. So that's my game of high low. Hell yeah. Bunny ears and moose ears. <laughs> Heckin' adorable. I think that family has submitted a couple different games, which we'll see. Um, let me make sure I refresh this proper. Do I need a refresh? Bump, bump. Excellent. Hey, everybody, a quick break. We're two thirds of the way of the presentation. We got about uh, ten games left. Yeah, I'll say to give ten games, out or give or take one. Um, I hope everyone is remembering to drink water, especially after this long weekend and hard work. It is uh, tough to make a game in forty-eight hours, so pace yourself. Do make sure you are giving yourself all the time you need. Uh, I'm going to drink some water here. How's everyone else in chat doing? Spencer says, math is cool. That's right, Spencer, stay in school. Spencer, you heard it from Spencer first, stay in school, math is cool. Um, Spencer says, math is cool, and so is that kid. That kid is very cool. Ashley says, good job. Sarah says, water. Ocho Pika says, hydrate or dihydrate. Seattle, so I'll just post the link for our Discord. Hey, get in the Discord, always good. Come chat with us. Fluffy says, I definitely overdid it this weekend, and now I have to work tomorrow. Oh, no! Yes, it is. It is always a grind. Soriani says, what if I want a live trait? That's not how it works around here. Ah, very good, very good. Cool. I'll move us right along then. Uh, next up, we have The Lost Agates Games. I lost Agate's gems with the uh, diamond emoji. If you guys want to give your support, use uh, the gem emoji. Hello, everyone. This is Tega Studios, and our game is The Lost Agate's Gems. We were all fans of the action platformers games and loved boss fights, so we decided to do a boss battle type game. We know our concept revolved around nature and ancient technology, so that's where most of our ideas were. 
we've learned a lot. Uh, I especially learned that GitHub was such a powerful but also de detrimental piece of web software. That's where the GitHub fiasco of 2022 happened, and our game went through some serious troubleshooting. Then we solved all our problems and everything looked, everything worked. And oh, uh, looks like another bug. Let's start over. There we go. Beautiful. Why are there bullets coming from the left? Looks like another bug. Scrap that under the rug. Big lasers, laser guns, rockhead boss, spider boss. Okay, I'm done. Let's Hell yeah. That was the Lost Agates Gems. Hey, uh, I always, always, always welcome devlog and documentary uh, videos. I love them, especially because, hey, we're all developers here. We, we feel your pain. We all know the Git issues. We all know the, the merge conflicts. We all know the disappearing work. Mm, classics, all classics. Uh, everyone drop your horror stories in chat. Uh, that was Lost Agates Gems. If you guys wanna give your support for all of their hard work and turmoil to make it, let them know it's all worth it, drop them the gem emote in the Discord. On the topic of Git issues, I recently found this project which seems super useful. Star, star, star. <laughs> Next up is Scratching Three Kids. That's right, Scratching Three Kids. Heard it here first. Our teams take on the same duality, was duality between different people, then showing their duality by making their own game. Tap on each person to see their game. Come on, watch them. I was, I was going to be like, my favorite was the one with the dragon and the fox. I was locked in. And then the dad joke came in. And the dad joke was like, man, I, hey, hey, I see you, my guy. That was a, that was a hell of a pun. Mad props. If you guys want to support uh, Scratching Three Kids, hey, uh, use uh, the, the, the baby emoji. The baby emoji in chat, if you please. Prof Encounter says, Raffle got me with the dad joke. Yes. <laughs> but I, man, but the dragon and the fox, though. It was so good. Spencer says, excellent. Fedes says, nice. <laughs> Please go give your love and support to those three kids and that horrible, horrible father with the horrible, horrible dad joke. Next up is Shoe Duo Quest. Shoe Duo Quest. Okay, so this is a, this is the video game that I made. It's called The Shoe Seeker. What you do is that you kind of just go and attack these things. These cute things. They're green. And you, and once you get close to this guy, you put shoes on him, and yeah. 
and then you can do it again. It's really good for beginner gamers who's never gamed before. So that's basically it. You kind of just do that. I made it on Scratch and I did some coding and I did a tutorial. Well, I didn't do a tutorial. I watched a tutorial to help me. And I looked through the book. I looked through a book that could help me. And my dad helped too. And that's basically it. <laughs> that was a shoe, a shoe duo quest. I think that shoe seeker was another title, alternate title from the video. Hey, uh, accessibility is important, and there are a lot of people who don't know about um, how to play your game. And she made a game that was really good for people who didn't know how to play games. So, foo on all you guys for assuming people know how to play your game without a tutorial. You are not accessible. Get on this girl's level. She's got the right idea. That was Shoe Duo Quest. Show your love for the developers of Shoe Duo Quest with the uh, the, the the red heel emoji. Um, get that guy his shoes. Next up is Unicorn City. I think another game had already taken Unicorn, so we got Cat. We got Kitty here. Uh, sorry, Unicorn City. Uh, here we go. Go ahead. I have a game. I call it Unicorn City. It's a simple game. It's a good game for beginners, starters that this like pl that started pl playing games. Can you show how it works? Well, it works by you press a button and it moves this. And it moves the character around and there's three levels. And it's a good game for beginners. Tell about the levels. Who, who are you to start with? You start as a hippogriff, you move on as a unicorn, then you become a pegasus. Then it and it and it goes on and it, and it goes and it keeps on going that way until you stop the game. And how did you make it? Did you make it in scratch? I made it from scratch sometimes, I guess. Very good. Thank you. They got three levels? Three, three levels? I couldn't, we couldn't even do one level in our game. We got th there are three levels and there's unicorns and Pegasi? What, what are we doing? Guys, we got an upper game. We can't keep being shown up like this. They got three levels. Oh my God. Oi, oi, oi. If you guys want to show your love for that amazing game, hey, go use the little kitty cat emoji in Discord. Uh, let them know that they see scene. Cell Indies says fired. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, I think that's right. I'm, I, hey, not, this can't even compare. Three levels. Three levels. Three levels. Okay, moving right along. We got Puppeteer. Puppeteer with the clown emoji. Um, if you guys want to show your support for Puppeteer, use the clown emoji.
What an epic from beginning to end. Oh my God. Highs, the lows, the music. Oh my God. That was the puppeteer. Hey guys, show your love for the puppeteer and their uh, developers. The art was cute. The story was cute. Got some juice on it. Yeah, the, she could give him the clown emoji. Next up is Silent Return. Silent Return, I also didn't get an emoji from you. Or maybe you did have an emoji at one time, but it didn't load on Discord. It was just like a square for, I mean, it didn't, wasn't you know, vastly supported. I had to switch you over to the uh, shush emoji. Very sorry about that. Here is Silent Return. <laughs> That was Silent Return. Silent Return. You can support Silent Return using the shush emoji on Discord. Show your love. I love that pixel art. Absolutely adorable. Magasui says, yep, she has to disguise herself to get into the bases. Ah, it's got some stealth aspect to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Next up is Sue and Z. Sue and Z using the cherry blossom emoji if you guys want to support um, Sue and Z. Hey, show your love. Let the, the developers know they are seen using the cherry blossom emoji. Wow, wow, that was adorable. Oh my God, those character designs. Wow, 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 wow. I absolutely adored that. If you guys want to show your love to Sue and Z and that adorable premise, hey, throw them the uh, Cherry Boss Mimosa over in Discord. Let them know that they're seen. Next up is Happy Monday. Uh, that's supposed to be tomorrow. And if you guys want to support Happy Monday, use the frog emoji.
That was Happy Monday. Hey, again, I hope you guys have a happy Monday tomorrow. Uh, if you guys would give us your little bit of a happy Monday, I love the, the little frog character. Drop the frog emoji in the Discord. Let them know that they're seen. Next up is Twin Hooks. Twin Hooks. Pew, pew. Sounds like an 80s uh, Saturday morning cartoon. Uh, Twin Hooks, uh, if you want to support them, uh, I think I just put the, the right word hook. I couldn't fit both of them in, but you can use the right hook to support the game in Discord. Wow! This is one of those games I wasn't able to watch prior to the presentation. Just added, uh, you know, just after I started uh, streaming it, so I hadn't seen this yet. Absolutely gorgeous! Like the particle effects, uh, the camera work, the the lighting on everything. There's just everything was juiced so exquisitely. Oh my god! Um, guys, if you want to show your support for Twin Hooks, hey, use the hooked arrow in Discord. Let them know that you appreciate it too. It's good stuff. Uh. That was Twin Hooks. I don't know who worked on that. I, I need to look that up. Next up is Bad Bad Zoo. I also have not watched this one. Um, they were uh, in progress for a good while. Um, hey, let's check them out. Your zoo is finally opening tomorrow. All that's left to do is get some animals. Maybe build some paths for your guests. And maybe fence off the guests so they don't get eaten by the animals. Now that I think about it. At night, you have six turns to draw a randomly selected shape with an animal, path, or a fence. When the day finally arrives, your guests arrive on any of the paths connected to one of the sides of the park. Then the animals can move. Before they leave for the night, guests will buy items from your store based on their experience. Next to two different species? Better get a photo book. Have an unobstructed view of a faraway animal? They'll buy binoculars. After your five-day week is over, your zoo is complete, and your score is the total amount guests spent at your... <laughs> bad, bad zoo. That was bad, bad zoo. What a what a fun concept! It's like a like a tycoon game, but like a bit more discreet and puzzly. I like that. Yeah, um, I could feel the fear of God in their voice while they were speaking, and I hope you're okay. I hey, I hope you're okay. <laughs> uh, next, uh, in our uh, we're getting close to the end here. Polite is another. Uh, Late entry. I haven't watched this. Full surprise. Very excited to see it. Um, if you guys want to support um, Polarity, use the Magnum emoji. Magnum emoji in Discord.
Wow. I saw a negative pull, positive pull in there. That's a super cool concept. I loved the like the backdrop with the big alien planet. I don't know if there's an alien planet where that's supposed to be Earth. I couldn't recognize it even as much as I could tilt my head. Uh, really, really enjoyed the exploration aspects of it. The game looked gorgeous. Great work, everybody. Um, I think that was uh, Anit Jason who worked on that. Hell yeah. I think this is our last game. Our last game with the jam. Hey, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us and watching all these games. The last game we're going to end on is A Tale of Two Sides. Tale of Two Sides. If you want to support Tale of Two Sides, use the Desert Island emoji. Desert Island emoji is fully available to grant your support to uh, this game. Here is. Wow, wow, wow. I'll actually pause in the credits screen. I should be doing this more often. That looked amazing. I loved the pixel art and the, the, the juicy platforming. I loved jumping through and up and down. And uh, I loved the cutscenes, the little narrative dialogue, character portraits. This looked legit. This looked like a finished game that I would find on Steam right now. That was wild. Uh, I've just been told words in not our last game. There's one more, everybody. Someone just added it, just under the, the, the finish line. Uh, never? Hey, we got you. Let me refresh the page. If you guys want to support Tale of Two Sides, use the dealer item emote. Please show them your love. That was amazing. Okay, here we go. Uh, never. There we go. Never with the portal emoji. If you guys want to show your love for never, use the portal emoji. Uh, you might have to hunt for it. I wanted to ask you something, Captain. Very well. It is a tree, is it not? How do you know this? Have you told the others that you regard this plant as highly as you do them? Where is it from? What does it matter? So what kind of tree is this? Your purpose, if I must remind you, is to look after us on my ship. I could help you, you know. But I find it more entertaining to watch you struggle. Do you think I'm bad? Broken, like your dead comrades? There are no saints on this ship, little drone. Only sinners. You think you can undo what I have done? Hubble along now, little drone. Fulfill your purpose. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was never. Uh, that I looked it up just now on the Global Gaming Gym page. They have like 18 people listed on their team. 18 people. That's so many. Uh, and hey, the work shows for it. That clearly, they're all able to collaborate and uh, all stretch their biggest skills and show off what they could do. That was amazing. Hey, I'm glad we were able to get Never in there. I'm. Uh, what, what a clutch submission. Would not have gotten you. Uh, if you had not even just been a moment later, I would have just ended the, the presentations. Folks, hour 30 minutes later, we've made it through all of the games. Wow. Hey, give yourself a big round of applause. Drop some uh, applause emojis both here in chat, uh, Twitch chat, and also in Discord chat. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, you guys survived 40 hours and you came out the other side with a video game that you can say you made because you did. That is amazing. You guys did incredible, incredible work. I am so, so, so uh, proud of you all, uh, especially in the bad times we seem to be in. Uh, the fact that we still come together from across the globe and make silly video games about a person with a, a, a angel and devil inside them or where you are sometimes a horse and sometimes a pegasus and sometimes a unicorn or a game where you uh, jump through islands. Uh, 
all of it is so, so cool and exciting to see. I'm very, very, very happy to see more. Global Game Jam will hopefully be back next year. Uh, you know, all, you know, all across the globe, there'll be additional sites wherever you may be. Um, and until then, the Seattle Indies, our local uh, group, also has a bunch of game jams. We do, we do four a year, including the Global Game Jam. Uh, in the spring, we have the Climate Jam. So that's our most upcoming one. It changes names every so often. Uh, Games for the Future or the Indicate Climate Jam. I do not know how we'll be branding it this year, but we do that for Earth Day. And then in the summer, I my favorite game jam is Hype Jam. Hey, someone uh, I, I, someone drop a link to Hype Jam. I don't know where, where what link you do. The old HIO, I guess. It's a, a game jam for game trailers, so you don't make a finished game. You just make a game trailer for a game. And then at the end of the year, in autumn, we all get together and we do a slow jam. So 40 hours is a little stressful because it is. Uh, you get two weeks instead to just kind of you know drop in, drop out, work on your game here and there, uh, and, and you know end the other side with uh, something more uh, uh, methodical. Folks, that about wraps it, up, uh, wraps it up for tonight. I don't know. I'm looking to see if I have any other announcements I need to read. Um, nah, I think we're I think we're pretty good. Uh, big thanks to everyone else who helped me. I want to thank Tim. I want to thank um, I want to thank Paxton. I want to thank Brad. I want to thank Ty Hastings. All these people and more have been helping us behind the scenes to prepare for the jam to educate our jammers uh, and to give support where needed. Guys, I'm going to sign out here. I love you all. Stay safe. Drink water. Uh, keep warm. Stay dry as best you can. And uh, uh, pet a cat. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs>